Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, we will be looking at how can you lock your files and folders so our students cannot edit them in various channels in Microsoft Teams. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So here I am in my Samples Teams class and I am in my channel called Math Cafe. As you can see, I have two different folders and each folder has a couple of files in here. Students can definitely edit these files because this is not in my general channel. So what I will be showing you today is how to change access to the folders or the files inside the folders depending on the instructor's requirement. In order to do that, you will have to go ahead and open your channel in SharePoint. So simply go ahead and click on SharePoint. And as soon as you click that, your entire channel and the files open up in SharePoint. Now, when you hover over the folder that you want to change access to, you will have these three ellipses popping up. So click on these three ellipses. Go all the way down to Manage Access. And as you can see, the sample members of this team, my team's name is Team Sample. So the members of this particular team can actually edit. How do I know that? Because there is a pen icon next to them. Now simply click on this arrow and change it from Can Edit to Can View. As soon as I click that, there is a strike against your pen telling you that the members of this particular team can only view the folder but cannot edit. Now when I click inside the folder, even the files inside the folder will have the same access. So if you don't want to change each and every file, you can simply go back and change the folder. By doing so, every file inside the folder will automatically become view only file. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the student interface. So this is my student interface. Let me refresh it. And as you can see, I have a read only icon next to my folder. Now let me go ahead and click on this. And every file inside the read only folder automatically becomes a read only file. And as you can see, I have a read only icon right next to my PDFs. There's one right here and my Word document also. Now let's just say as an instructor, you don't want to restrict the entire folder, but you just want to restrict a particular file. In order to do that, let's go ahead and jump into the teacher interface. So here I am in my teacher interface. I'm going to go ahead and click on the folder. And let's just say I just want to restrict this particular Word document. In order to do that, you can either open your entire file in SharePoint from right here, or simply click on these three ellipses and open in SharePoint. And once you do that, you have an option of all the files that you want to change the access to. But I want to go ahead and change only for the Word document here. So you simply hover over until you find these three ellipses. Click on these three ellipses. Scroll all the way down to Manage Access. All the way to the right-hand side, you will click on this arrow and change from Can Edit to Can View. And once you see a strike against your pen, you know that that particular file is restricted by your students to edit. Now let's go back and take a look at a student interface. So here I am in the student interface. So as you can see, I do not have restrictions for this particular folder. When I click on it, I do have a restriction only for this particular file. So as an instructor, you can actually change the access of your entire folder or the file by simply opening those documents in SharePoint and clicking on Manage Access. And as an instructor, if you do not want to be bothered by changing the access of every single file, you can go ahead and create a read-only folder by changing its access to Can View, and every file that you upload into this read-only folder automatically becomes a read-only file. I hope this video helps. If it does, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. They could be an educator who might really need this locking and unlocking their folders while teaching a class. And always remember, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.